Do you own a nice carbon frame mountain bike or road bike and you get that creaky creaky crawly crawly sound for all you Who fans out there in the bottom bracket? This old man does and it is the most annoying frustrating sound when you're riding down the road. Well, I think I have a way I'm going to fix that coming right up. This old man just purchased a new bottom bracket right now. Check out what I ordered. This, ladies and gentlemen, BB92 press fit bottom bracket. Guaranteed to stop the creaking in your mountain bike. So they say. Well, we're just gonna test this baby out. So these things are kind of expensive, a little pricey. At the time of this video, $150. What, what, what? $150 for a bottom bracket? Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. And one more thing. Yep, it's empty. Yum yum. Thing comes with some, some adhesive. It's a cup or something. We got more stuff here. Cups for the end. Nice big instructions. Let's go put this thing on. So let me just show you what we're talking about. So if you look down here, we have this little uh, bottom bracket that sits inside the frame here. To get to it, you have to take off the crankshaft and crank set by unscrewing uh, the setting screw here and then unbolting a few things then pulling everything out and then you'll have access to the bottom bracket which sits in here so what I have in there now is just a Shimano Holotech bottom bracket I was only expecting to get a, about a year out of it and guess what I only got about a year out of it so we want to get rid of that creaking sound but the first thing I'm gonna do is Hey, so we got the bike set up on the rack, and I gotta tell you one thing. Disclaimer time. Hey, we've got bar wide open to the fresh air here, even though it's a cloudy day. So you might hear some birds, you may hear a car or two pass by. Do me a favor, tune those out. With that being said, let's get to it. Now, there are a few tools you are going to need to accomplish this mission. Let me go over those. Rubber mallet, torque wrench, T-handle hex key set, bottom bracket compression tool, and finally, a park tool, BBT-10.2 Holotech screw set removal tool. That's this thing right here. So the first thing we are going to do is we're gonna remove this screw that is sitting here. And there it is. Next, you're going to need a five millimeter hex tool. And we're gonna unscrew the two hex bolts that are sitting at the top of the crank arm. So let's go ahead and do that. Put the first one in. Ah, there we go. And we will simply take that out. We're gonna take the second one out here. Another thing you're gonna notice here, there is a plate that sits in between the slot here where the screws go into. After that, 
it's just a matter of taking this and just pulling on it and it should come quite free. Next, you'll most likely need your rubber mallet to push this through to the other side and then it should come out freely on the other side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Just gonna beat that through. Always use a rubber mallet. Now that that's out, all we need to do is kind of push that through. And there you have it. Crank arm out. And if you look real closely, we can see a lot of buildup of grease and oil and dirt and you know, we got weeds in here. So this will be cleaned up and we'll get this nice and shiny again before we put it back into the bottom bracket. The next thing we have to do is we have to punch these caps out on each side. One going that way and the other one coming right back at you. And to do that, we need a tool that you can push through and get on the inside of the cap and kind of punch that out. So what I have is a socket extension tool that I found in my toolbox and it has rounded edges on it so it won't damage the inside of the bottom bracket when I try to punch this through. I'm gonna try the large end first to see if I can connect to the other side of this. And I can feel it on the lip on the inside of the bottom bracket. I'm just gonna to try to punch this through. This bottom bracket will never be used again. It's okay if I damage it because we're putting a brand new one in. And typically on press fit bottom brackets, you can't really reuse them anyway, so it's okay to just kind of smash this out. So we're gonna continue here. Oh, I was at the end. And here's that uh, end bushing of the bottom bracket we just took out. So I'm gonna reverse this and do it on the other side and we're just gonna pound on it until we get the other one out. So we're just gonna fast forward ahead and get to that point. And now we can just knock this bushing out of the other side. So I'm gonna pound on this pretty heavily, so watch this. And the cool thing is I'm not hitting any part of the carbon. I'm actually, I actually have this setting on the bushing on the inside. I'm just gonna keep pounding on this until this thing pops out. I know it sounds horrible, but trust me, it's okay. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty cool. All right, we've got the bottom bracket out, the old one that is, and I wanna show you how dirty it is inside this bottom bracket and why we got moisture and expansion and why it was creaking so much as you saw in the earlier video. Check this out. If I put my finger right in there, Look at all that dirt and grime on my finger. If you look right through, you can see all the dirt that was accumulating through there. It's grease and dirt. And that all just got in there just from riding and probably because I didn't have a good enough seal on, on this here, on the inside of the bottom bracket. So what we have to do is put the new bottom bracket on and then we're gonna put some Loctite to make it stay in place and to prevent any water from getting into the bottom bracket. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We need to make sure that the inside of this bottom bracket is absolutely spotless clean. And the way to do that is rubbing alcohol or some kind of cleaner, a Scotch-Brite or sponge with an abrasive uh, backing on it that you can really get into the nooks and crannies of the carbon and everything. And then just wiping it down to make sure that's clean. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So what I've got here is a washcloth that I've wetted down and I've got some Dawn dish soap on here. Uh, that will help get all the grease and initial dirt out of here and then we'll continue to clean that as we go along. So it's going to continue to rub the inside of this out. In fact, why don't we just get a closer view of that right now. So I'm just going to clean the inside of this out as you can see. And you can see how the starting to get the mud and grime out of there. I'm gonna do the same for the other side. Make sure it's spotless. 
And then what I will also do, is I will just go ahead and run this through. Like you take a washcloth to your back. Just make sure everything is clean on here. All right, I'm gonna pick up the camera now. I'm gonna show you on the inside of this, how this looks. So that's pretty clean, as you can see. And finally, what I wanna do is take some rubbing alcohol. So I'm just gonna, I just got a paper towel. I'm not too worried about the fibers or anything coming off of that. And then I'm actually gonna go in. As you can see here, get the inside of that. And we'll come in from the back side too. All right, that is spotless on the inside. I can actually see the reflection of the carbon against the wall in the back. At this point, we can go ahead and start pushing in the BB Infinite bottom bracket. Instruction time! So you'll notice there's the BB Infinite BB92 bottom bracket. Now you will notice that if you turn this around, you will see an arrow and it will say drive side on it. Now what that means is the arrow needs to be pointing towards the drive side when it's in place, not the other way around where you're putting it in from the drive side. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take this bottom bracket, I'm just gonna kind of fit it in there to begin with. I'm gonna kind of push on it by hand just to get this started and keep it as straight as I possibly can and kind of look to make sure that it's kind of straight. So with this in place and everything locked in, all I need to do is start turning this clockwise, righty tighty, to get this to compress. See, on the end of my tool here, it's set up where I can attach a, either a crescent wrench or some kind of wrench to it to stop it from moving to the right. As long as I keep it straight, I'm pretty confident I'm gonna be able to get this in. So, you can see I'm starting to get some resistance here, which is good, and I'm just gonna keep turning this, and you can slowly see that the bottom bracket is starting to go in. It is going in very smooth. Now, what I'm expecting at some point is I'm gonna to get to the end of my threads, and it won't let me push this in anymore. When that happens, I'm simply going to adjust the tool and move my locking nut at the end closer this way so I can continue threading. And I'm noticing that my arrow that I see there is moving very slowly into it. Okay, I've reached the end of the threaded portion of the install. So what I'm going to do is unlock the back nut here. That will allow me to take the locking mechanism off, which is this piece here. And then all I'm simply going to do is back this out. I'm going to unscrew the rest of this all the way back to the top. Put this all the way back through, make sure it's secure and riding nice and level on the bottom bracket. We'll take our locking nut for the press tool, put that back on and move it all the way as far as it will go until you can lock it. It's locked into place. I'm gonna take my wrench, put it back on where I had it before, and start the process all over again, and twist. All right, I'm starting to get some resistance, so here we go, I'm gonna continue. And basically, folks, this is just a rinse and repeat. All right, I'm getting close to the end here. I'm about maybe a quarter, three-eighths of an inch from the end here. So what I want to do is stop because the next thing we want to do is put this Loctite on to the inside of the bottom bracket, take everything off. Take that out. And all we're gonna do is we are going to put some of this pretty liberally, but enough to fill and get this tight. But it will also prevent water from getting in 
to the frame. We're gonna rinse and repeat and finish this off. So I'm gonna put this cap back on on the other side that came with the bottom bracket. So I'm gonna put that in. We lock, we lock the other side here. Locked in, grab the back end of this with our wrench. And then we can finish this up. Now it's definitely starting to get tighter and I don't have anybody to help me, so I'm just gonna kind of support myself on this frame. And you can hear the creaking, it's just going in there very tight. And we're there, that's it. The BB bottom bracket is in. So now I'm gonna back this off. I'm also gonna have, give me the opportunity to, to take all of this stuff off. It looks good. And the last thing to do, ladies and gentlemen, is get this last piece off that's on the end here. So I'm gonna tap, though you can't see it, but I'm gonna just take my rubber mallet and there it comes off. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the install of the BB Infinite BB92 press fit bottom bracket. Now if you'll notice, I have gone through and done a preemptive cleaning of my crank arm set. And you can see if you compare this to the one we had before, it is pretty clean. And we're just gonna liberally spread that all around. So now that we've got this greased up pretty well, all we have to do now is install this into the bottom bracket. And with the BB Infinite, it comes with a couple of different end caps here that go on the shaft here on each side. Now that we've got the crank set all greased up, all we need to do now is install this into the bottom bracket. And the BB Infinite comes with these two caps that you put on each end. This one's gonna go on this side. We'll just do that here. It's also gonna protect the bearings that are on each side from dirt and all sorts of crud getting in there. You put this side on, slide that all the way through. Then we're gonna take our second one here, but for now, I'm just gonna make this a little easier to put on. Then we are gonna take the other crank set, and we're gonna put this on Perfect. And I've taken out the stop plate for the screws that go in here, and we'll just put that back in as we normally would. Finally, we can align our screws back into the crank arm. Finally, we can align our screws back into the crank arm using a five millimeter wrench. And all we're gonna do now is get this to a point where it's just a little bit loose, actually a lot loose, because we don't want to tighten these all the way in. Because the next step is to put the cap in so it will compress this against the bottom bracket and then you can tighten these two screws. I'm just gonna tighten that in like this. Take our BBT 10.2 tool here, there we go. Now we want to tighten this because it's going to compress against the bottom bracket. Don't need it too tight, just enough to keep it in place. That is nice and tight right there. Perfect. We can continue tightening these. And then I'm going to do the same for the other side. Tighten it just till you get to that little bit of resistance. From there, you're ready to use your torque wrench. Oh yeah. I've got this already preset to 13.5, around 14 NMs, Newton meters I believe. And we're gonna tighten this down and then we should be all set. Works like any other wrench. 
And I'm gonna alternate in between both sides. So it doesn't go on unevenly. So we were able to tighten both of these up to the correct torque and now we are finished. I can tell you right now that just by the action and the play in this, this is very, very smooth. It's probably because a lot of the gunk and stuff is out of there also, but uh, this doesn't appear to have any creaking in it so far. I won't know until I get on the bike. So let's take it out on the road. So, like I said before, we just got finished putting the BB92 BB Infinite bottom bracket press fit <laughs> onto this bike. And uh, we need to take it out in the road to see how it does. So, let's go ahead and gear up the GoPro and uh, check it out. Hey, so once again, we've got the GoPro hooked up. Bam! And uh, we're going to go check this BB92 press fit bottom bracket. So, like I always like to do, let's turn on the GoPro. It is just too cool watching that thing self-level. <laughs> All right, commentary coming up. All right, going into the trusty fridge. Yeah, I know, there's a lot of alcohol in there. I don't drink at all. On average, I maybe drink two beers a month. Okay, maybe four beers a month, but who's counting? Like I said in an earlier video, I'm just not that big of a alcohol drinker. Ah. We're just gonna go around the block and uh, listen for any creeping noise. Once again, for you who fans, creaky creaky crawly crawly. Any of you know what song that comes from? It's actually creepy, creepy, crawly, crawly. All right, here we go. Around the block. All right, listen for some noise. I don't hear anything, do you? If you remember short route, you heard a lot of creeping coming up this hill. Let's see if we get any. One thing I am noticing also is that the pedal stroke on my crank set is very smooth very fluid. So I'm thinking I can pick up a lot of speed on some of these road routes that I like to do. So we just got back from testing out the BB bottom bracket to see if there were any creaks while I was riding around the neighborhood. And lo and behold, no creaks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test this out for a couple of months and see where we stand. And maybe we'll do a review at the end of those couple of months and I'll give you my final verdict. But so far, looking A-okay. Question of the day. Have you ever had a problem with your bottom bracket, especially if you have a carbon frame and it just happens to be press fit? If you have, leave a comment down below because I really want to know. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, promo time. Hey, if you really like this video, do me a favor. Give me the thumbs up and click on the like button down below. And if you really like this video, click on that button that starts with an S, ends with an E, and subscribe to this channel. And finally, if you want to see all the cool stuff I use to make this video, click on all those links down below in the description and it'll take you right to them. Quote of the day, believe you can and you're halfway there, Theodore Roosevelt. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, this old man is out. Question of the day, 
Have you ever had any type of problem with your bottom bracket? Specifically, nah, just leave it general open. Take six. I don't know, take eight. $150 for a bottom bracket? Are you nuts? It'll start recording. What's up, everybody? Hey, that BB in... Take three. All right.